Hi, and welcome to Windows Penetration Testing with Kelly. I'm Angelique Cater, and thank you for joining me on this roller coaster ride in learning about security pen testing. A little bit about myself I'm an ethical hacker, bug bounty hunter, Linux engineer, and Microsoft software solutions expert. I have over 20 years of experience in hacking. Yeah, don't do the math, I was a bit of a young rebel. I'm a mother, a wife, a Harley rider, a nerd, I play ice hockey, and well, I break stuff. Let's just leave it at that. Whether you're deciding to start a career in pen testing, or you're just really curious, then this is the course for you. It's not that advanced. So if you're new to this, don't worry, you can do it. So what are you going to learn? Well, in section one, we're going to install Kelly in a couple of different ways. We're going to install it from a default install, from nothing. We're also going to have a look at using a virtual box pre-installed Kelly Linux. In section two, we're going to start playing around with reconnaissance. Reconnaissance is where we're going to start looking at finding information that is publicly available, manipulating Google, etc. In section three, I'm going to show you how to do vulnerability analysis with Nessus as well as OpenVAS. And in section four, we're going to start breaking stuff with exploits. We're going to be using Metasploit as well as the GUI to Metasploit, which is known as Armitage. From there, we're going to jump to web penetration testing in section five. This is actually awesome if you're going to start bounty hunting. Then it's time to look at SQL injections and cross-site scripting in section six. And no course is complete without breaking a password or two. And lastly, in section eight, we're going to round things off and do our documentation. What you're going to be needing for the labs? Well, this is basically your hardware and software scope. You can jump to the screen and have a look at cybermesafe.cf which is a little site that I created that will show you everything that you need and places where you can download your stuff. You can also get in contact with me over there. I will also do a small little video just to show you how to configure all of these things so everything works in a well-oiled lab.